Welcome everyone. I would like to ask you to ponder this map. Now, we don't know exactly who released it or the reasons why it was released. We know that the map was well scanned. It was done extremely well. The file size is about 33 megabytes. And the detail that you can zoom into is extremely good. But <clears throat> when you look at this map, and, and be perfectly honest with you, I never even thought about it and just recently. If you're going to take the time to scan a map, this is probably was a rather large map at the beginning, to scan this map into a high resolution map, or excuse me, high resolution file, wouldn't you move the arm that's in the center there out of the way of the most of the landmass? and put it, say, in the in the South Pacific or in the Pacific Ocean or outside of Alaska? Wouldn't that make more sense before you scan the image? So, logically, the next question is, well, maybe they put it there for a reason. Now, this map actually had two of those hands that you see there. This is what it, the pattern looks like. And basically the way it would work is that you would put the two arms, line them up with the two points if you wanted to calculate the distance between two points. You would put the arms over the position point A and point B and you would be able to calculate the distance out. So, for instance, if you wanted to know how far the distance was from these two points here, you would 45 degree um, north latitude, and then however many degrees times 60 nautical miles would give you the distance, right? So, you have to think back. Whoever released this map had an intention. Of releasing this map what was their motives for releasing this map and I, I personally think there's only two possibilities one is they had found this map knew the importance of it and wanted to share with the world Or they sent this map out into the wild on purpose to mock but why leave that arm in that position and why were the, the second arm cut off and why was that one cut off at that point And it would have seem it would seem that that arm is landing right about the Middle East area. Now there's the 33 degree latitude mark is on there. Just saying, you know, 33. Either way this map the reasons for the, the releasing of this map we don't know it is a true map now the land masses may not be um, exactly perfect but that is the shape of our world I'm sure in the last 150 years the 
you know, the land masses that are probably a little more better defined with the current technology. But either way, that is the world we live in. There's no need to make more maps. I mean, it, there's no reason for it. This is the world. This is the map. When I measured um, Australia, it comes out to be the same. We know our world is flat, and the best way to measure a flat world is by degrees and time. It'll tell you where the land masses start and end. So, I don't know why this map was released. I don't know why it's pointing to a specific spot on that. Because logically, if you're going to scan a document of this importance, why not move that arm all the way to the Pacific Ocean or remove it altogether instead of being right smack in the middle of important land masses. Just something to think about.